Hello everyone, it's Caribbean e and Tina. Hi. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's just having just a fantastic day and that you are in the best of health. Yes, with health as always being most important. So as you guys know, we're back in the beautiful US of A. We're back in the... Cracker Jack box. <laughs> <laughs> So the one thing we've kept getting asked by all of our friends that we've seen and tried to catch up with is, what do you love and what do you hate about being back in the U.S.? So we thought, hey, let's do a video on it. Let's do it. So let's cover first the things that we love about being back in Vegas. Of course, number one, you know my number one is going to be, I miss catching up with my friends, my family, especially our kids that we left two and a half years ago and with that we would love to give you guys all an update on ricardo pierce and his family because we did get a chance to reach out to them hello everyone it's cribbing e welcome to the channel we are hanging out with my special friends from las vegas that you Nevada. know you've heard of family right here family right here that's my friend right there you guys donated to his cause and, and he's recovering from his cancer treatment and we're at Green Valley Ranch in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we wanted you guys to see what we see. Food, lots of food, you got some wine, you got some food, and I'm beginning to eat my food yet, but I'm going to eat it in a few minutes. And we got the Green Valley Ranch with some special friends of ours. And this is a special moment. And we will cherish this moment forever. But I wanted you to see these wonderful people, special friends of mine, that I will love forever, and they'll be on the channel forever. So, salute them. And number two, of course, is one of Eric's favorite things. He missed some of his favorite restaurants and shopping. So you missed Juan's. We have a little yes. excerpt of that. So what? we're going to show you a little of Juan's Flaming Fajitas. Oh, my God. And so good. especially the outlet malls in Las Vegas. I literally think it's one of the best kept secrets. There are three in total, three different locations, and every major label has an outlet store to choose from. Number three, of course, we miss going to pro sports in Absolutely. person. In person, live and in living color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Vegas has a lot. So now we have the Vegas that we've had, the Vegas Golden Knights. We now have the Henderson Silver Knights. We, of course, have the Las Vegas Raiders. And we've got the Las Vegas women's NBA team, the Aces. So it's just, I feel like it's more exciting in person, don't you? It's very, I mean, it's like, it feels like a full city now with all these teams. So number four is absolutely the accessibility to the vaccine of our choosing. And we were able to make quick appointments, easy online, and get our vaccines so we could stay healthy. Because I know that was a priority each year. Absolutely. Sure was. Yeah, so um, I gave the VA system, I had to, uh, gave them a call. They never got back with, with me. So therefore, um, went to Walgreens, got the shots. 
And um, I tell you what, it's one and done. Yep. Well, two shots. Two me. shots. <laughs> um, so the things that we kind of hate, forgot was so irritating, and things have changed a lot in Vegas since the last time we were here. A whole so, lot. Number one is definitely this VA system out here. It's always backed up. You have to wait for an appointment. We came before we even got here to make you an appointment and we still had to wait a month and three weeks just for his first appointment. That's almost a two month wait. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. It's a nuts. veteran would literally die right. waiting for the system to make them get them in and see them at an appointment. It's the worst. It is the worst. It is the worst. I never had this problem when I was in outside living outside the country. Yeah. And number two is how congested and dangerous the traffic situation has gotten on the streets and highways here in Vegas. What's happened is a lot of California and other um, states, Cities, states have moved into Las Vegas because of the lower cost of living because of the COVID situation, especially when you're looking at, like you said, California taxes and mm -hmm. Nevada taxes. So are uh, crazy, and so people come here because this is a non-tax state. So they'll sell that five hundred, six hundred thousand dollar house and come here and get one for way under the, the the price that they paid in California. Yeah, and number three is definitely what he was just hinting at: the overall cost of living. It's almost doubled, almost since the last that we lived here. Houses are being sold for almost double the actual price. And people are fighting in the market over homes. Uh, they can't meet the needs. And I mean, and we see there's like tons. You've even done videos where you've been walking and there's mm -hmm. just tons of houses being built and still they can't keep up with the demand. So food and gas prices have risen to what we used to see when we went to California to visit our son when he was a Marine stationed out there. Right. And I can't believe, like we went to the gas station, I was like, how much is gas? I was like, that's like California prices when we left. It's almost three fifty a gallon Ugh, for ridiculous. the cheap stuff. But the thing is, is that Resort World and other casinos opening and reopening because some of them have gone over facelifts. Some have whole new names to them, like the Hard Rock is no longer the Hard Rock; it is now the Virgin Casino. But them Resort Worlds, they're bring creating tons of jobs, which is great. But it's bringing a lot of people from other states to Las Vegas, so the driving up the prices of like rentals, apartments, mm -hmm. homes, and even purchases. So we've seen that go up dramatically. So that's something that we're really like, but we kind of <laughs> anticipated it. It's why we sold our house. But <laughs> number four, summer is officially here. Yes, it is. We went from like having, I was like when we first got here, like 80s. 80s. Then two days, it was freezing cold. Right. Remember that? Sure was. It was like in the 70s. We like had coats on. <laughs> and then the next day we wake up and it's 100. And right. now we're officially in the over 100 weather because it is summertime. Bang, bang. Always 100. 106, 108. Mm -hmm. Today should so be 108. You miss, like you, you don't, it's something to get used to because at least in the tropics, it gradually. <laughs> but honestly, luckily, we're really just very 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 blessed to have the amazing family that we have and friends to stay with and visit mm -hmm. you know we've gotten a car at our disposal and done what we had to do we're healthy so like what more can we ask for right this isn't a a, a a complaining video trust me i'm very happy either no matter where you put me because like i say we always conform and go with the flow there you go so this is just a temporary stop we're getting some things done and we'll be on to the next. That's for sure. So, in the meantime, between the time, always remember that life is to be enjoyed. Yes, always make sure to hit that subscribe, hit notification, give this and all video a thumbs up because hitting that subscribe and hitting that notification lets us change that algorithm so we can bring you accurate and concise information. And remember that all information is always underneath every video if you'd like that one-on-one -on -one consult or you just want to say thanks. We're there for you, whether it be U.S., Caribbean, or Portugal. <laughs> so, till the next video, peace.